Today we're diving into a common skin issue that could be more than meets the eye. Skin tags, also known as acrocordons, although I've never called them that. These small skin growths may be hinting at something deeper happening in your body, something that could impact your overall health. You see, these seemingly harmless skin protrusions may be connected to insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. So let's dive in and I'll explain what I mean. Hi, I'm Dr. Finbar and I've been a family doctor for over 20 years. Now I specialize in dermatology and on this channel I help you to learn to love the skin you're in. Skin tags are benign skin growth, which means they're not harmful, so they're not skin cancers. They look like this and they commonly occur in the armpits, neck and groin. But they're worth our attention now because they might be associated with some underlying health issues. Let's take a closer look starting with these three research studies. First up is a study from the Journal of European Academy of Dermatology and Venereology. So what's the gist of it? Well, skin tags could be a sign of various health conditions like diabetes, high blood cholesterol, liver abnormalities and high blood pressure. They found that people with two or more skin tags had significantly higher fasting blood sugar levels total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, triglyceride levels and also raised liver enzymes implying liver diseases like fatty liver. Blood pressure levels were also higher compared to people who had no skin tags at all. Next up, a similar study from the Annals of Medical and Health Sciences Research. Their conclusion? Well, skin tags might be like the tip of an iceberg, a visible sign of something called metabolic syndrome. Let me come back to that in a moment. Finally, a study from the European Journal of Dermatology echoed the previous findings. They discovered a significant correlation between the number of skin tags and higher BMI or body mass index, higher blood sugar levels and cholesterol levels. So let's turn our attention to this metabolic syndrome. Picture your body as a sturdy ship. Normally it can weather minor storms, but with metabolic syndrome, it's like getting caught in the perfect storm made from at least three of these five elements. A large waistline, also known as central obesity, high levels of triglycerides, a type of fat found in your blood, low levels of the so-called good cholesterol or HDL, cholesterol high density lipoprotein, high blood pressure, and finally high fasting sugar levels. Each of these separate elements is like a storm on its own. And on their own, they're troublesome, but when they come together, they form this perfect storm known as metabolic syndrome. This storm can wreak havoc on our bodies, increasing the risks of heart disease, strokes, and many other health problems. Please hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you find this content useful. So what's stirring up this storm? Well, insulin resistance. Imagine insulin as the ship's navigator, guiding sugar into your body's cells. But in insulin resistance, the navigator's instructions are ignored, causing sugar to pile up in your bloodstream, and this also causes a pileup of insulin, as your body makes more insulin to try and push more sugar into the cells. This rising tide of insulin has growth hormone-like effects, and this can cause growth of those little skin tags, the topic of our video today. And this is why skin tags may be associated with insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. So what's the takeaway here? Well, skin tags might be more than just a skin issue. They could be an external sign of underlying metabolic disturbances such as insulin resistance. If you have skin tags, please don't panic. Consider them as a nudge to check in on your metabolic health. Although the studies that I mentioned have shown associations between skin tags and these metabolic issues, it doesn't mean that you are guaranteed to develop metabolic syndrome if you have a few skin tags. But if you do have even one or two skin tags, it might be worth reflecting on your overall health. Are you carrying extra weight? Are you exercising regularly? And are you eating healthily? Also, it might be worth getting your fasting sugar levels checked, your cholesterol levels, your BMI or your hip waist measurements, and your blood pressure checked. So how do we calm this perfect storm of metabolic syndrome? Well, lifestyle changes are your best bet. Things like reducing your weight if you need to, exercising regularly to reduce insulin levels, eating a healthy diet consisting of less refined sugars and less processed foods, moderating alcohol consumption, and 
quitting smoking if you smoke. In my free ebook downloadable on the links below, I also include how to ensure consistent quality sleep, working on positive mindset and building strong relationships and looking after our emotional health has major benefits for our skin health. And if your skin health is good and you look young for your age, then there's evidence to show that this is associated with less chronic disease and ill health in your future. If you'd like more information on that, be sure to comment below. If you found this video useful, you'll also like my deep dive into signs of sun damage known as actinic or solar keratosis. Check it out and continue expanding your knowledge to learn to love the skin you are in.